Today we're going to be talking about will AI employees take away human jobs permanently? I'm joined with James, this is a very touchy subject for some people, but what are your initial thoughts? So AI employees will certainly take a lot of human jobs um, that is repetitive tasks because there's lots of benefits of having an AI employee. They're never ringing sick. They're fast, they're cheap, and they're more intelligent than all humans. So for that reason, why would you not have an AI employee replace certain people for repetitive tasks? However, as you know very well, Kazo, there's certain jobs that... AI won't be able to replace. So why don't you touch on certain parts where they won't be able to replace, in your opinion, specific entrepreneurs or business owners? So my opinion is if you are an innovator, uh, it's very hard for, for AI to, to replace that. E even even if, like for example, if we were to do a, a case study right now, if, if myself and James was to go into ChatGBT or Claude or whatever and just type out saying like, hey, can you write me an article on how to run up a hill? Both articles are going to be very, very similar. However, if you've got a new innovative way um, to run up a hill, it's, it's not likely to actually cover that. So if you're doing things that are new, if, it's, if you're doing things that are outside of what AI has been taught, very hard for AI to, to basically come and replace your, your job. Yeah, for sure. I think anything with regards to creativity or innovating and forward thinking, um, then AI is never going to be able to replace that type of role. But also, I think it's very important as well that there's a lot of humans that will not want AI to come along and will just proactively, point blank, not deal with a human, uh, not deal with an, an AI bot. So if, they, if someone knows that an AI voice assistant's on the phone, they'll just put the phone down. And they always will. Like, I'm not speaking to an AI, I want to speak to a real person. So for that reason, there will be certain call centers that still need human because that's what some people are after. And I think there's going to have to be some sort of choice. Do you want to speak to an AI bot or do you want to speak to a human? And you might have to wait 60 minutes, 70 minutes to speak to a human. And some will do that. Some might think, I'm just going to wait 30 seconds and speak to an AI bot and get the information of what I need. So for yeah. me, I don't want to wait 70 minutes to speak to a human. I need that scalability and how quick I can get through if I'm getting the same answers. But certain people will be like, I only want to deal with humans. I'm not going to deal with the machine, humanoids. I don't want to deal with them. I just want to deal with humans. Um, so I don't think they'll replace all jobs, especially like I said, innovators. But... If you are running certain tasks that is rinse and repeat, then yes, um, you're going to struggle, I think, moving forward. I've got I've got a quick fire. And again, this is going to be predictions. It's not going to be 100% accurate. But I've got a, a quick fire of jobs that you think personally will be replaced with AI. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll say in the, in, the, in the next 12 months, right? So customer service representatives. Yes, um, but again, some people will want to speak to humans, so not all, but yes, a lot of customer service representatives will be replaced with AI employees and already are. Accountants and auditors. Certain jobs within accountancy, yes. Um, the signing off of, let's say, chartered accountancy or auditing, definitely not because you need to be compliant and have certain like, boxes being ticked. So therefore, certain roles, yes. So the compliance part, no. Data entry clerks. Absolutely, yes, 100%. Manufacturing and warehouse workers that are doing routine tasks. Yes, humanoids will be coming along. I think it's going to take a while for that to be replaced within warehouses. Um, but yes, I think if it's repetitive tasks, then yeah, look at Amazon Warehouse and a few other kind of car manufacturers, and a lot of them are actually now being replaced with um, humanoids. Teachers. I'd say no, not short term, but I'd say long term is going to be a lot of online courses. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot of certain things where people can be learning via AI. Um, but no, I'd say the government will allow teachers to always have a role. Surgeons and nurses? Certain roles, yes. Um, I think at present, I think a lot, I would be very wary, and I love AI, to have a 
AI humanoid come and rip me open and do whatever they're <laughs> doing inside my body. So short term, no. Um, I'd say potentially for certain tasks, they do a better job. There's no, I, I, I no think way. like... Yeah, I I don't think like open heart surgery. I don't think anyone would trust the humanoid just yet. But I think maybe like um, s- uh, prescriptions, right? You you you, oh, yeah, you go to sure. yeah, yeah, st- yeah. stuff like that, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, artists and creative writers. No, definitely yeah. not. Um, I think that that needs to be that they are being creative, and I think that AI mainly learns from um, information of what it's known. It kind of copies information of what's there as opposed to innovating what about hr managers yes i'd say 90 percent of them would be replaced um a lot of it's rinse and repeat kind of following the rules and stuff like that. And anything that follows the rules then therefore it can do however there's certain people that would want a human if someone does something wrong and it deserves um, a disciplinary but they're a really good key member of staff they might allow certain things to go by the wayside. They might say, well, he has done this wrong, but there's a lot of good things to him where AI could be like, no, they've done that wrong. He needs a disciplinary. So for therefore, certain people might want a human HR. Yeah. I, I think that with AIs completely taking over human jobs, I think that there's always going to be like a, a human interaction. So you still need to prompt it or you still need to tell it like, hey, this task, I need you to do it in this tab over here or, or on this sheet. So I, that that's that's my viewpoints. Yeah. Um, is there anything else that you want to add? No, not really. I think it's there. I think people, what they need to be doing is looking to embrace AI employees. Like you said, they're faster, they're cheaper, they're more intelligent. So you should be trying to supercharge your existing staff. I'm not saying for them to replace your staff. What I'm saying is if they can all get assistance to be helping doing the tedious work, the output of what they can be doing is 10 times more for existing staff. So I would definitely be looking at all the benefits of AI employees, checking out one of our videos where we're talking about all the best different AI employee platforms. Um, There's so many different ways that you can be using AI employees. So yeah, I think it's got to be something where people have got to be looking to embrace it.